Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest. And today I wanted to share with you my little birthday haul from scrapbook.com. A couple people had asked me to share what I got when I posted on Instagram um, a picture of the little gift certificate that my um, children had printed off for me and given to me for my birthday, which was on the 19th of August. So I have a little stash over here. Um, I often tend to go for like one big item and then there's like a lot of little things that I think, oh, I need to pick that up or I want one of those. So this time that's what I did. I kind of went with some smaller things, things I had been wanting to try. And so I just thought I would uh, quickly go through those things and show you what I got. So first off is this little craft scrubby from Ranger. And I learned about this through Alice Bowl with Scrap Happy. Um, and it's supposed to take ink, paints, and mediums from your hands. And she says it works. So uh, I'm gonna give that a try. So that was my first thing. The next thing also from Ranger I do not have any Distress Crayons, or I did not until this. And this is the um, four latest colors. So you've got the Rustic Wilderness, Crackling Campfire, and then the Speckled Egg. And um, I've seen a lot of people use them, and I thought they would be great to try. And with these colors, with Christmas coming up, I like all three of these colors to me represent Christmas because I think you can use this blue shade, the speckled egg, um, just about any time of the year. So I'm interested to play with those and see how that works out. All right, then I picked up a, a die from Sizzix and there are 24 little pieces. And I did go ahead and take these things out of the plastic um, just to help cut down on the sound and the glare. So I have some dies, I have several, but I don't really have many floral dies and definitely nothing that's kind of this intricate. But there are lots of times when I am working on, especially like a 12 by 12 layout, and I just need to have some little filler pieces to kind of go with what else I've got, maybe from an ephemera pack. And so I wanted to try this. Um, I see so many people doing the layered flowers and this has a, a few layered pieces as well as just pieces to use on, on its own. So keep your eye out for that. Maybe I can come up with a project pretty soon to try this one. I was gonna see what the name, oh, it's called Floral Abundance. So that's pretty fitting. All right, then I picked up, I have quite a few stencils, but um, I picked up this one, which is a layering stencil. Other than one that makes like a plaid, I don't have any layering stencils. And um, this one will be perfect for fall. It is called Fall Leaves and it is from Photo Play. And um, I thought it would be pretty neat. You can use this one, I think, alone. Can you see that? This is my first time trying to do a haul. Um, so I think this one could stand alone. And then of course you've got this that sort of would highlight a second color. Um, oh, sorry for the glare. Would highlight a second color or a darker shading um, on the leaves. So I thought I would try that one. It's just different from any of the other stencils that I have um, collected so far. And then from all to new, I picked this brick wall embossing folder. And um, I only have maybe two or three embossing folders. Um, and I saw, I think it was Janet from RTS talking about, um, I think she had a brick embossing folder. She also had one that was like planks or wood grain. Um, it was sold out, but um, this one was available. And so I thought I would get it and try it maybe um, in little smaller projects or just to kind of add a little bit of extra something here and there. So I am going to give this one a try. Then I picked up the Magic Mat from scrapbook.com. And let's see, the packaging on this one says it's the standard short magic mat. Um, I, when they first came out, I kept missing them. They were out of stock a lot, um, but now I was able to find one. I can't remember if the other sizes were in stock when I ordered these, um, well, maybe a week ago. 
probably a, like a week ago, Sunday or Monday. Yeah, it's been about a week. Um, and this just came today when I'm filming it. So um, I wanted to try this one and see how it worked compared to just the regular plates in my Big Shot Express. Then I ordered these, <laughs> which kind of seems plain. Um, and they were also a scrapbook.com uh, uh, product, actually their brand, and it was just called Stickers. But there's often times when I just need um, just a plain, simple black sticker. And even though there's not a lot of letters on here, I wanted to get them and see how I felt about the thickness. And I mean, they're, they're okay, they're not super thick. But I thought I'd give them a try and maybe order more or try different colors later on down the road. Um, then I have the um, scrapbook.com roll adhesive. I love this foam um, to put behind like larger pictures. Again, especially if I'm doing uh, a 12 by 12 and I wanna pop up my picture. I like the thickness of it, uh, the width and the thickness, I guess. Um, it is, I don't remember what the measurement is. I know it's one inch across, but I can't remember what the, the thickness is, but I love this. Um, it's my favorite foam adhesive on a roll. Then I picked up this one and I took it out of the paper, but I mean, out of the plastic, I'm hoping you would be able to see it better. It's from the Obed Marshall Buenos Dias collection. And it's just a, a decorated little bit of a, almost a foil look. Um, acetate. I have some acetates um, and some some fairly you know pretty vellums in my collection. I don't have a lot and as I've been working more in my pocket page notebook from the stamp spot that has the the um, pocket the clear pocket in between your regular pages I've wanted to pick up some more um, decorative pieces of acetate to work in that notebook. And then I got another piece of acetate. Um, this one, I think I would call it acrylic. Can you hear that? <laughs> this is a thick piece of plastic and it is from the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane, the new collection from her. And I'm gonna say this looks coppery foiled or rose gold in my lighting, but I just thought this one was beautiful. I haven't picked up any more of Bungalow Lane yet. I'm not sure if I will, because I'm trying to do as much of a, a spending freeze as I can. I have way more stuff than I need. I've only been scrapbooking about a year and a half, and it looks like I've been doing it about 10 years when you come into all this stuff in my craft room. So I did a lot of shopping last year. Then I picked up just three papers from Vicki Booten's Warm Wishes, her Christmas line this year. Um, I love Vicki Booten's papers. Uh, you know, the quality's good. I love her colors and her style. And I'm not 100% sure yet um, what I'm gonna use for my December Daily. I ordered a lot from Allie last year, plus I ordered one of her older kits off of, I think it maybe was HSN that came with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I also had some stuff that came in kit subscriptions at the time, and I picked up a lot of crepe paper, uh, was it Hey Santa, I believe. So I have a lot of stuff left, and I'm not sure what all I'm gonna get from Allie's December Daily Release this year. I'm still waiting to see a little bit more on the specifics of that. Um, and I may end up getting more of this line because I just think it's really pretty and I love the colors. So I picked up the one called Deck the Halls and there's the B side. And then Holiday Wishes. And I thought this would be neat if there was maybe, I don't know if you could fussy cut, put a picture in there or something. I liked that one. And then this would be pretty versatile to use even other times of the year. It's got a little music uh, note in the background there. And then this one is called Holly Jolly. Um, and again, there's really nothing specific. I'm trying to see if any of the wording is specific to Christmas, but um, it's just kind of a random mixture of colors and it could be used other times as well. And then the B side on this one just has lots of words and these are specific to definitely winter. Um, I see all kind of things about December and, and snowmen and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's a little more specific. But I got those three papers just to kind of 
get a little bit of that to see how I felt about it as a collection. And then I saw um, Heather's Crafty Life. She did a uh, an art journal page where she used black gesso. I have a few different types of gesso, but I didn't have black. And I know this Finnebear Art Basics, um, especially Missy Whidden talks a lot about it, as well as a few other people. And so I thought I would try both the brand and the color since I was kind of branching out a bit. And then my last item was the freebie, um, the pops of color. Uh, I had not picked up any of these because I have quite a lot of Nouveau Drops in my stash already, lots of colors. So I've just been kind of ignoring these, but I did not have, this is like a gold glitter. I'm trying to see, I don't have my glasses on. So let's see, glitter champagne, I think is what it, the color is, champagne. But I didn't have a gold glittery um, Nouveau drop. So I thought this was good and um, I like that this color would work well also maybe like for December daily this year. So that is what I got for my little birthday haul. And um, I just thought again, I would come on and share it with you since a couple people had asked me to do so. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it more than you know. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And I will try to link some of these products in the description box. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider doing that as well. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.